a virtual valve can be visualized by clicking on the eye icon next to virtual valve. In the software, we have a custom valve available. The dimensions of this valve can be changed by clicking on the green pencil button next to custom. The device height, inflow, and outflow diameter can be changed. The inflow diameter is on the ventricle side and the outflow diameter on the aortic side. A skirt, with a specific height, can also be added. Apart from the custom valve, Evolu, Sapien, and Lotus valves are also available in several different sizes. In case a different valve than the Lotus, Sapien, or Evolu should be represented in the software, this can be done with the import function. With the import function, an STL file can be selected from a folder on your computer and loaded into the software. The point of mass and default rotation can still be adjusted if necessary. The last step is to save the valve. The name that is chosen here is the name that will appear in the drop down menu. The virtual valve can be repositioned in different ways. The valve can be moved by dragging the orange dot. And it can be rotated by dragging the green circle. To rotate perpendicular to the circle, use the arrow keys on the keyboard. To turn off the rotation handle, deselect Edit Orientation on the right side of the screen. If you right click on the virtual valve point and select Reset Orientation, the bottom of the virtual valve and the aortic annulus are aligned. On the right side of the screen, an offset can be filled in with respect to the aortic annulus. A positive value will offset the virtual valve to above the annulus plane. A negative value will offset the virtual valve to below the annulus plane. To turn off the entire virtual valve, click again on the eye icon next to virtual valve. The virtual valve is used to assess valve placement and assess the possible obstruction of the coronaries.